So I'm here with Bill and his brand new Dodge Ram. He's going to give me a little tour. So you just started the build, huh? Yeah. I've got the... Uh, I built the walls and the beds and the floor. Yeah. And then we took it out camping to see what else we needed. And so this past week I put in some shelving. We'll see if that suffices. Cool. Now we'll modify again. <laughs> So I see you've got your cooler wrapped in Reflectix. Do you think that really helps a lot? Well, it keeps the sun off directly off of it at least. Yeah, you know, it's I mean, right this here. This is hot right here. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it helps, but I don't think it's real significant. Yeah. So that can't be, you know, the best thing for it. Yeah, that little spot. Be that hot. I've got a white cover if I can just find it. I put it on the top of it. So that's your little blue, blue Eddy? The blue Eddy EB70. Cool. 716 watt hours. Nice. Of uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Cool. The good ones. Yeah. Nice. So, gonna, gonna try and make it with that and see how it goes. Awesome. Between the two of them, I've got a little over 1200 watt hours. Which, with two lead-acid batteries, that's about what you're going to get, usable power. Yeah, so there you go. And that little solar panel, it's what, a 100-watt solar panel? It's 100 watts. It'll take 200 in series. Um, it'll work on a 200-watt panel, but I tried it with, with the two 100-watt panels I have, and it didn't want to function. So, you know, hopefully I don't have to get in such a big hurry that I need 200 watts. Right. I have to pony up another 500 bucks for a 200 watt panel. <laughs> right. It won't fit anywhere. Right. Then there's that. Oh, yeah, this is cute. Yeah. So I put this in yesterday. That's Pretty so solid. cute. Pretty solid. I love it. I had, and to, I had to take all the baskets out and put them on the floor. Oh, okay. That was what I was going to ask, if they all come flying out when you drive. Yeah, they do. Ah. There's got to be a fix for that. Well, there is, but you know, this is just particle board, so uh -huh. I'm a little leery about drill, drilling holes in it. I thought, first thing I thought of was I just drill a hole all the way across and stick a quarter inch rod through there. Uh huh. And that might work, but this is just particle board. And yeah. Particle board wants to become particles again. <laughs> so, yep, and then the two beds for you and Sandy, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that works. All your fishing poles, and I like it. Plenty of storage still under the beds. Well, I'm, you know, I don't know how much it's gonna. Some of it's gonna go away. Some of the stuff. Yeah, I mean, we bring way too much food. We just don't need that much food. We never eat it all. Mm -hmm. We always take some home. And, yeah, and we. You know, it's hard to shop for one week, I guess. It is. You've done a really good job so far. Oh, even your little TV back there. Yeah. I love it. Very cool. So what do you have it hooked up to? So I kept the power really, really simple. Uh-huh. I have a I have a surge protector that sticks out the back with a cord about that long. And I found an access hole that'll get me out. I didn't even have to drill it. <laughs> awesome. And so I mounted I mounted that little surge protector on the wall back there in the corner. And then if you look on the side here, you'll see another little surge protector. That's plugged into it. Mm-hmm. A little two, two volt, two uh, outlet uh -huh. on the other side of this. And then, then that one runs all the way around and plugs into that surge protector. And that's my electrical system right there. Cool. Very, yeah. that's all you need though. I can't think of any reason to run a bunch of wires through here and put puck lights up and all that jazz and you know, I got these right here which are blocking their power source. Yeah, but yeah, those work great. They work really good if you just keep them charged up. Mm -hmm. You only really use one of them at a time. Right. I guess they last about two or three hours. Yeah. But, you know, the only time you're in here is when you get ready for bed. Yeah, exactly. Or if it's pouring rain. Or if it's pouring rain. Yeah. Well, I love the headroom. It's nice. I love it? it. It's very nice. I think you're going to have a lot of fun in this. You already have. I need oh, to... yeah. Yeah. How many miles have you put on it? Almost 3,000. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> very this is good. the fourth camping trip. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to plug some holes first. I moved my bed 
Actually, I didn't move it. I cut it back. It was 39 uh -huh. inches on the frame. But my mattress is only 30 inches. Mm -hmm. So I cut it back and I gained a lot of room. Yeah. And then this, the other thing, stuck out the back here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's really literally about a foot of walking space in there. And, yeah. And that opened it up to almost three feet. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all you need. It's perfect. It's really, it was just really comfortable. These are the most comfortable beds I've made yet. <laughs> cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for showing me around. I really, I really like it. I can't wait to see what all you do to it.